Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about a split screen functionality within Microsoft Edge. Now, I've already covered this in one of the video, but then there are some additional functionality which has been added by Microsoft Edge since then. Now, uh, I'm in Microsoft Edge Chromium browser and I opened one website. Okay. Now, in order to do a split search, there is a button over here. Okay. You can do a split screen, this button over here. If it is not visible, then you can go into the settings and enable those functionality. Now, once the split screen is enabled, uh, then what you can do, you can click on the split screen and then on the right hand side, you will see uh, a, uh, again a panel uh, whereby you can again use that same website. Okay. So maybe I'll just put apple.com. Okay. Now we have two uh, split screen uh, which displays both uh, same results. Okay. Now let me go to iPad. Okay. So if I'm going to iPad over here. <coughs> Now, if you see over here, uh, there are uh, like these are the um, uh, iPad related functionality. Uh, uh, these are like some of the uh, pages uh, with the hyperlinks over here. Now, the functionality of split screen is like uh, uh, if you you can do much beyond than what traditional thing of comparison. Okay, what you can do is one is like say uh, take for example. Uh, if I want to take this as on the left hand side as a uh, like a reference panel and on the right hand side as something which gets or shows me the result. So take for example, if I click on left hand side, then right hand side should change. Okay. And then left hand side will be my source of reference. So if I want that behavior, then what I can do over here, you see this three dot colors, more options. You click on it and then you say link the tabs. Okay. Now tabs and split screen link tabs now watch what happens so if i click on apple pencil over here instead of this page getting uh, refreshed on the left hand side the right hand side page gets refreshed so that means you will always be in the context of the left hand side page but right hand side will be at acting as a preview panel okay so if i uh, say again uh, click on say ipad buy okay now on the, it will have that effect on the right hand side Okay, so it would have that effect on the left hand side. So that means you can always keep that static left hand side functionality, right? So this is one of the functionality. Now, um, so let me unlink this. Then we can do a split screen horizontally. Okay, so if I want to compare something in a landscape based fashion, then I can do that. Now, uh, it, again, it depends on your use case scenario, how you want to um, uh, use this functionality. Also, if you are not happy with the width, you can do a adjustment. So if you just want like say 20% of the real estate for the first part and 80% for the second part, you can do that. And same you can do in a portrait mode as well. Okay. So like this, you can do uh, various changes. Now you can even swap top and bottom tabs so it will just do a quick swap okay so if you want to do a swap top and bottom tabs you can do that now again this is a uh, uh, same thing if you want to split screen vertically okay now here as well you can do that size adjustment okay so take for example how we read an email in our uh, outlook you know now now uh, if you want that kind of functionality, let's link the tabs and whatever changes you make on the left hand side will be impacted only on the right hand side and left hand side will always be your reference point. Okay, so if I click on uh, say iPad and now then the screen will change. Okay, uh, if I click on iPad Pro, then again, right hand side screen will change. Okay, so that's a very cool functionality I found in uh, the split screen uh, feature set. Uh, then uh, we can open this web page in a new tab. If you want to completely exit out of split screen, we can use exit split screen. And uh, that's how you can, you know, make use of the split screen functionality. Now, remember, now the split screen functionality is only operates within two frames. Okay. So you only have two frames. You can't have the third frame attached to it. Okay. So, so that's it, folks. Uh, this is all about uh, split screen functionality with some advancement uh, in the feature set. Thanks for watching.